we have most certainly made ourselves pretty comfortable here in my hometown of Noosa and I'm sure you guys can see what's happening behind me. That really is a picturesque Noosa afternoon. There's people on stand-up paddleboards, people kayaking. I mean, I'm sitting in the park having a little bit of a cook-up. And speaking of, I can completely understand why this is now the spot of our Noosa Food and Wine Festival. The biggest foodie event on our calendar. And with a backdrop like that, it makes a lot of sense. And I really can't wait to get into this dish. This is really about as simple as it gets, but it's about finding the right techniques to, to cook a beautiful piece of fish uh, and being able to enjoy it for what it is. So I'm just gonna do a really beautiful steamed red emperor uh, with some simple dressings, a little bit of soy, some chow sing, a little bit of sugar, some ginger and spring onions. It's an absolute Chinese classic. And I think it's one of the reasons why I have so much respect for the, the Asian cuisine and their culture because they keep things so incredibly simple, but they do it so well. And they use beautiful produce and they leave it at that. Using a bamboo steamer is something that is incredibly underused and underrated. Um, I don't know how many households in this country would have them on hand, but I really hope that watching this, it gives you that, that little bit of inspiration and, and sparks that fire inside to go, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna go get a little steamer and, and, and go get a beautiful piece of fish, take it home and enjoy it. And I'm telling you, it is the absolute bomb. Okay, so I'm gonna kick this one off by prepping the, the ginger and the spring onions. That's a pretty serious whack of ginger. And I wanna use a good portion of it. Um, so we're just gonna just box it up, just trim it. And we really wanna get a really nice, beautiful matchstick or julienne, whatever you wanna call it. And that's gonna lay over the top. So you're essentially just cooking the ginger. It's gonna take that little bit of warmth out of it, but change the texture of it. It's just, That's about all I've got to say about it. It's, it's just one of the most beautiful ways to enjoy a beautiful piece of fish. So seriously consider giving this one a shot at home. And I think everything around me is kind of uh, intensified. My senses are heightened because of where I am, what I'm doing right now, what's behind me. Um, I think you can see the hype of activity on the Noosa River. That really is uh, the lifeblood of, of a lot of the things that we do and base our lifestyles in uh, in Noosa. So it's really beautiful that you guys get to witness that and being able to sit here in the uh, in the park, you know, with a beautiful piece of fish, steamer happening. If you haven't been able to tell by now, I'm a pretty happy man. So you've got your matchsticks. A few of them are probably a little bit bigger than normal, but you know what? I love it. So even the way that we're cutting the spring onions, so we're cutting them on that, that nice angle and it's gonna, it's gonna make it look more authentic and I'm a firm believer it might be it might be placebo but I think it's gonna taste more authentic it's gonna taste traditional for this beautiful piece of red emperor a little bit of soy no no salt in this dish the soy sauce has definitely got you well and truly covered there a little bit of the Xing, so Chinese cooking wine a little bit of sugar just a decent pinch so that's just going straight out of the top and that's that's gonna melt that's gonna dissolve into the sauce and you'll have this incredible little broth that you'll end up with at the base of this plate and once you steam that and again you keep it so simple have that with a little bowl of rice or some wok toss greens ginger and spring onions over the top and now just for a little bit of interest just a little bit now we're not going to go nuts here you're dealing with incredibly uh, delicate elegant flavors you don't want to overdo it so if you just want to grab a couple of little slithers if you've got a little bit of chili oil, awesome. Throw that on, we've got a little bit of sesame. So just kind of plot them around. A little bit of sesame oil, just a couple of drops over the top. It's quite ceremonious, this part. Lid over the top. We've got our burners firing on all cylinders here. Sit that on there for about eight minutes. It's gonna be so good. So we've had our fish steaming away now for about seven or eight minutes. <laughs> How good's my setup? I've got a camp cooker, I've got to use two burners, and I've got one handle. But you know what? I think that just goes to show, if you have a look at what's happened in that steamer, it will prove that you don't need all the bells and whistles to create cracking food. 
Now you have a look at that. Like I told you, like I promised, you've got the most beautiful little broth happening in there. You've got the little globules, the little glossy bits that are sitting on top. That's a little bit of the fat that's come out of the fish, as well as the sesame oil. I've got some fancy little spring onions that I've cut up here. I'm just gonna dress them over the top. I think that saying the simple things in life is happening right now. This is exactly where it's at. A little dish like that, cooked on a setup like this, with a view like that. You know what I would recommend? If you wanna have a, a shot at this dish, you wanna cook something like this, Go and find yourself a space like this with a backdrop like that. Take your dodgy old camp cooker, go and sit down at the park, take your favorite brook, take whatever you want and cook this up. Yeah, it's a really beautiful moment.